We've witnessed some outstanding women's racing this year with some dominant performances. So here we have a collective list across all mountain bike disciplines. This is our top 10 most successful women of 2015. Number 10, Tracy Hanna. After a short retirement break, she has come back, but actually been plagued with quite a lot of injuries and 2015 marked her return towards the top. Yeah, three World Cup podiums and a bronze at the World Champs really shows that her form is coming back. We expect her to be strong next year. Number nine, Annika Langvad. The Danish specialised rider delivered on her promise she's shown for the last few years with her maiden World Cup victory at Val de Sol. She backed that up with a silver medal at Marathon World Champs and also took the win with her partner at the brutal Cape Epic. Number eight, Cecile Ravenel. She was a relatively successful female cross-country rider and decided to make the switch to enduro and focused solely on that. She was unable to beat the mighty Tracy Mosley, but loads of podium places meant she got second for the overall, which is an impressive performance. Number seven, the veteran Gunnarie Tadala. The Norwegian rider is 42 years old and still at the top of her game. Claiming the Marathon Worlds title this year in the Italian Dolomites for the sixth time, Gunrita had three World Cup podiums and probably disappointed, but fourth overall at Worlds. Yeah, look to a strong performance next year at the Olympics. Number six, Emmeline Rago. With 60 World Cup podiums to her name and being the only girl to manage to beat Rachel Atherton last year on home turf in France. Unfortunately, her season was cut short when she broke her leg and she also took that as a time to retire from the sport. So we wish Emmeline lots of luck in her future career as a physiotherapist. Number five, Manon Carpenter. The young British rider had a brilliant 2014 winning the World Championships and the World Cup overall. 2015 started off a bit bumpier with a disqualification at Leo Gang and a massive crash at Fort William. Nevertheless, she carried the rainbow stripes to six World Cup podiums and a silver medal at World Championships. You would be foolish to bet against Manon for 2016. Number four, Pauline Ferran Prevot. This multi-talented French star landed three World Cup podiums in 2015 and one of those happened to be a win in Wyndham, New York. In a series of incredible performances, she actually held the mountain bike road and cyclocross world championships rainbow stripes at one time. Number three, Yolanda Neff. She had a slightly disappointing world champs at Andorra, but she did not step off the World Cup podium all year long. She also picked up the European and Swiss titles along the way. For sure, next year she'll be gunning for the rainbow stripes and of course the Olympics in Rio. Number two, Tracy Mosley. It's fair to say that she completely dominated the EWS series in 2015. Yeah, six wins and one second place it was an amazing season. As she's announced that she's not going to do the full schedule next year, so she's not going to try and retain her title. But what an incredible season to finish it off with. Number one, let's have a drum roll. The queen of downhill, Rachel Atherton. It's fair to say that she completely dominated the 2015 season with one very minor blip being she was second place at the opening round in Lourdes. Yeah, the really impressive thing about Rachel is not just the amount of wins, it's the winning margins. She really dominates those races. She's back in the world champ stripes next year and she'll be the girl to beat. So that's it for our top 10 most successful female riders of 2015. And don't forget, if you feel like we've missed some or you don't agree, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you click up there, you can check out our top 10 male downhillers of 2015. And if you want to check out the bikes of the fastest female pros this year, and any other pros for that matter, click down here and that'll get you through to our pro bike playlist. And my bike's in there as well, and your bike. Yeah. Two of mine. Check it out. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah. And it all, as always, click on us to subscribe to GMBN.